So we'll do a trail side uh, review here of the hammock gear. I believe this is the 11 foot DCF tarp with doors. As you can see, it's got the doors on both sides. Um, I keep mine and a loofah that you cut in half. Because a loofah that you just bathe with or whatever uh, is just one long tube. So you, you know, it works really well for putting it up. Um, anyway, so last night it did really great through the rain, storm, and stuff, but just plenty dry. As you can see, my dog's tent sits up right under there. Um, it's got two side pullouts on each side. Yeah, so it's just a really, really good tarp. And so attached to the tarp, so this is a combination of hammock gear. This is a hammock gear tarp. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, but all the hardware came from Dutchware. So I got ringworms on all the tiles so that I could adjust it and stuff. Like the, on, on these, I just left it knotted out and I'm just gonna pull it out as far as the staple pull out. Um, but on all the corners, I've got it to where it can be adjusted and tightened. So, you just pull it out and, tie, and pull this end, the knotted end, down to tighten or pull this to loosen, adjust it however you want. And that goes down to my Vargo Titanium Stakes. Um, but, I mean, the hardware just makes it super easy. I don't know if you can actually see that. That is the ringworm by Dutchware on Zing It. I, think, I believe this is in it. Um, I've got shock cord that I knotted up. You can see knots are not my my specialty, but they work. Um, attached to Dutch clip. I think these are door clips by Dutch way as well. Um, but you, know, you have to knot it yourself and figure out the length. But it did good last night. You know, no blowing rain came in, so that was that was really nice. And it's the same stuff on the other side. Get you other clip, more Dutch wear. For the ridge line, I've got. Oh, what are these called? These I think they're. Um, I just don't remember the name of that hardware. I'll put it in the video. But so this just makes it real, uh, like said, really easy, knotless design where you just. Wrap it around the tree, bring it under here, around on this back side, and through there. Now, sometimes I do have problems getting it back out, especially when it's all the way tensioned. So, what I end up doing is pulling this loop from here, from here first, and that loosens it up enough for me to be able to pull it out. But anyway, um, Harp wise, I mean, there's plenty of space under there for now. I've got a 10 foot hammock, yeah. But like I said, there's plenty of space, and also that's one other thing. Um, it's actually got like door tie backs, so let me unclip one. So it's got these door tie backs. So you can just tie back your door and have it open if you want. One for the top, one for the bottom. But yesterday when I was doing it, I just did the top one and just kind of stuck it through there. Another thing about this tarp is the side pullouts you really don't need unless you expect to be in really windy or rainy conditions. Because um, it just helps pull the tarp out a little further. Because I, I wasn't planning on using these. <laughs> like, you know, wasn't planning on using the doors either. But uh, both both function really well. And just, it, it just helps. 
Um, Cause last night I could imagine, or yesterday afternoon when that storm came through, I could imagine that I probably wouldn't have stayed near as dry without those side pull in, pull outs and stuff. And I've been in conditions where it's been windy and I didn't have these and hadn't, didn't have the capability to pull that out. And the wind was just blowing the sides against my hammock, even though I had it pulled out as tight as I could. So I definitely recommend utilizing the side pull outs, especially if you're gonna be in high wind situations. Um, so yeah, I guess I had plenty of space, it kept us dry, no leaks. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend for any kind of tarp, really, um, if you want a painless, effortless setup without having to do a bunch of knots, get Dutchware. Um, it's just priceless. But anyway, that is the Hammock Gear DCF tarp. I think with all the hardware, it weighs about eight or nine ounces, which ain't bad. I mean, you know, I think a typical hammock tarp, like Seal Poly or whatever, it would be about 16 to 17, so. Anyway, I, I, like, I like these tarps, I like DCF. Um, you just can't beat them for the weight and the waterproofness, you know, because they don't, they don't absorb moisture. So even as much with moisture is on there, like, they don't pack up heavier. Highly recommend the hammock gear. And also I will say this is a second, this is like a blemished uh, version. Still works fine. So if you want to save a few dollars, you can get a blemished one. Um, I think it saved me like $50 or something like that over like the full price one. So it saves a little bit of money when you're investing this much, so. I think I paid $250 or Three fifty for it, but <laughs> it's funny because I didn't think I wanted doors, and so the tarp I ordered it didn't say it had doors, and I got it and it had doors, <laughs> and I was like, I don't want doors because I just didn't want the extra fiddliness of having doors and stuff. But so I emailed Hammock Gear. Hammock Gear customer service is really really good. Um, highly recommend. You know, I've got top quilts and everything by them as well, and just it's fantastic customer service. But uh, when I emailed them about the tarp, they're like, well, we must have just messed up the description. You know, don't worry about it. So I uh, got hammock tarp with doors, and I was like, well, we'll see how this goes. And I actually use it more than the one I have without doors. So. Sometimes you think you don't want something, but then you end up getting it and trying it, and you're like, yeah, yeah I like it better, so. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's been a fantastic, fantastic piece of gear so far, so. That is the review of the Hammock Gear Cuban Fiber Tarp. The Dutch, or thank you to Dutchware for making fantastic knotless design hardware and Hammock Gear for their fantastic customer service and quality gear. And no, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. I just really like their products.